If you want to create folders so you can have weekly assignments for your student, here's how you do it. First, go to Site Info. Then um, you'll look at the Edit Tools. And you'll click on Lesson Builder. Then scroll to the bottom and click Continue. Now, when you open the Lesson Builder, it's going to either call itself Lesson Builder or you can call it different things. For example, you might want to call it Unit 1 and you might want to have several more. I'm just going to do three more. I'll call it Unit 2, Unit 3, and Unit 4. And as you can see, you can go farther down and add more and more and more, but I'll stop with this. Then I click Continue, and what you will see when you click Finish is that now you'll have these so-called folders appear. Now when you click on the folder, you'll get a lot of information here. You probably don't want much of it, but here's what you do. You can add a resource. So I can click on my resources, choose an existing file if I've already uploaded it, like my discussion rubric, click Select, click Continue, and you'll see that my discussion rubric is now available under Unit 1. Now I might also want to add a, a video of some kind. So here's one that I was watching the other day and I saw about Sakai on how to download and grade all your papers at once. It's really pretty cool. So I'm going to put that there and then I'm going to click Save and you'll see at the bottom it says waiting for all. It takes a few minutes for it to load depending on your connection and this is um, a video of about three or four minutes so it may take us a few minutes to get it uploaded. What's really cool about Sakai is that the video is then embedded in your course so students don't have to go outside the course in order to view the video. So we'll just wait for a few more minutes Okay, and there it is. And you may want to watch this because it's a really sharp video and I learned something about it. Then um, let's say that you want to add text. So I can add text and I can say for this module, be sure to uh, read your text, page 100 to 200, <laughs> and then um, post on the discussion board. And when I scroll down, I can click Save. That information is there. And let's say I want to add my discussion board. Then I go under More Tools, Add Forum Topic, and I have one called Module 1 Discussion. Um, so I'm going to use that one. And now you'll see that everything is there for your students. The discussion rubric, let's just say, the movie you wanted them to see, the information about what they have to do, and finally, the discussion board.